It's great catching up with old friends, but to keep this business going, both new and established franchises need to constantly introduce fresh faces. There were so many great games this year that it wasn't difficult coming up with more than 10 incredible characters, even when we limited the selections to characters we've only just met for the first time in 2015. Some of these were playable, others were just acquaintances, but they all left a huge impact on the game's story and our overall experience. As we move into a new year and a bunch of new games, it'll be hard to forget them. Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Suzuki-san! Most of you probably haven't had the opportunity to dive into Yakuza 5 yet, so we'll keep this spoiler free. Kazuma lives a quiet and solitary life under an alias. He doesn't have many friends after the tumultuous events of the previous games and has fallen on hard times. That is, until Yutaro Nakajima lends him a helping hand and offers him a job at the taxi company. Despite knowing Kazuma has a shady past, Nakajima never presses the issue and believes everyone deserves a second chance. He sees the good in people, no matter what, and is a loyal friend. Yakuza is a mostly serious tale, but anytime Nakajima is present, his happy-go-lucky attitude helps brighten the mood. For a character who doesn't talk and can become invisible, quiet, has tremendous presence. Just getting her to the point where she'll join you on missions is an involved, emotional process. Aside from her being a strong-willed character in a cast full of giant egos, Quiet is also tremendously useful on the battlefield. She's got your back whether you're trying to survive some of Metal Gear Solid V's craziest boss battles, or a soldier that's just out of your reach spots you. As the better half of the deadly duo from Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Evie Fry brings a certain spirit back to the Creed that has not been seen since the days of Ezio Auditore. Her attitude is matched by her elegance, with a focus on precision while practicing swift and brutal justice in the name of the Order of Assassins. She stands out amongst the crowd of supporting characters in Syndicate, and her wisdom and unwavering confidence leaves us wishing we could stick with Evie throughout the entire adventure. What a pity, but no deviations from the mission. Sands is a lot like Undertale itself. He's a squat skeleton that loves punks, pranks, and insulting his over-eager brother, Papyrus. Yet there's a lot more to this bony slacker than meets the eye. After a while, it becomes apparent that Sands knows quite a bit about the player's situation and the characters surrounding it. Your final interaction with Sands can be wildly different depending on your decisions, conscious or otherwise. Sands also makes us realize how many RPG characters from the East and West are carbon copies of done-to-death archetypes. Sands has so many spectacular moments, all of which he does with a wink and a smile. At first, we were worried about Piper. She comes on a little strong, railing on about injustices we didn't fully understand. Yet, if you spend some time with her and read her paper of public occurrences, it's hard not to sympathize with Piper's struggle. Her terribly unfortunate past motivates her to expose corruption, even if it puts her younger sister at risk, a concern that she's constantly beating herself up over. Piper remains committed to the right thing, even if it could come at the cost of everything. There are several likable companions in Fallout 4 but few felt as believable or nuanced as Piper. Dead not need things, we take. Let me tell you a story. It's about a man, worse than most. Old Geard is a ruthless, noble-turned-bandit captain with the curse of immortality. Long ago, he was set to marry the noblewoman Iris, but due to financial troubles, her family rescinded the offer. Out of desperation and love, he made a pact with the Man of Glass to regain his lost status and wealth, but the consequences proved dire. His heart slowly turned to stone, causing the relationship he had with Iris to weaken, eventually resulting in her death. After this, Old Geard became increasingly disconnected from reality, and his cynical attitude masks a man that is deeply tormented by the sins of his past. It's not until a chance encounter with the Witcher Geralt that begins walking the long path to redemption. What is this row? Catherine is the voice that guides you through the strange underwater world of Soma. Saying too much about your bizarre relationship with her would spoil some of the best narrative moments of the game. Catherine's not quite human, a voice in a speaker powered by a portable device that you carry as you explore each station. She does most of the planning, but you do the dirty work, and as you unplug her from terminal to terminal, she puts her digital life in your hands. 
Soma touches upon human consciousness along with what we really value as a species, and Catherine's job is to find the answers to these puzzling questions. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. When a hunter's bloodlust becomes too fierce, who better than a hunter of hunters to put them to rest? Eileen the Crow, who fights with the dual-handed Blades of Mercy and wears a raven mantle and Plague Doctor's mask, is a shadowy pseudo-ally on a quest to rid the streets of blood-addled hunters. Not only is it from her that you can get the fastest weapon in the game, and arguably one of the best oaths, but she can be a sorely needed friend or a vicious enemy. Eileen reminds us that a hunter is never alone. Max is the time-manipulating heroine at the center of Life is Strange, but her best friend Chloe ended up spending the most time in our memories. As Max pieces together a mystery that could put those closest to her in danger, Chloe grows to trust Max's wild claims and supports her friend, even when things get really crazy. You explore Chloe's psyche from all directions, examining various outcomes to all of the tough decisions Max has to make. Chloe had to be well-written and passionately performed to pull off a story like Life is Strange. And she was. Siri stands out to us the most because she's iconic, mysterious, and complex. As the whole world looks for her, Siri needs your help, but she's far from helpless. Trained by witchers, Siri can carry a sword with grace, and her mysterious abilities make her one of the world's most powerful individuals. As she's essentially Geralt's adopted daughter, their relationship is one of the most impactful elements of the game. Hers is a coming-of-age tale. It's up to you to trust her, let go of your little girl, and allow her to become a force to be reckoned with. We scored the latest glimpse of gameplay from the Final Fantasy VII Remake that premiered at PSX, and covered a lot of other great games from the show. Before you dive into the massive world of Mira, check out our review of Xenoblade Chronicles X to see if the long journey is one worth taking. We'll see you next week for another GT Countdown.